Hello everyone, I'm Ranger Mary and I'm here at Colonial Dorchester State Historic Site and today I thought it might be a fun craft to make some origami boats. Uh, my park here protects an entire colonial town right along the Ashley River so shipping would have been very important and there would have been many different types of boats uh, going up and down the river uh, bringing goods to and from the town of Dorchester. Today I've got three different types of boats for us to make. All you really need is a, uh, is a sheet of paper. So um, I've got my three different uh, types of boats, a sailboat, just a regular boat, and this one here is a, a canoe type of a boat. Um, an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper is really all you need um, to make these two types of boats. Um, that will be perfect size. Um, to make the sailboat though, uh, you might need a, you need a square sheet of paper. And so to take your eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, which can be paper from your recycle bin, from something, you, some junk mail that came, um, or uh, just laying around your house, construction paper, really any type of paper will work. But to make a square sheet of paper out of your eight and a half by 11, you just need to fold this down um, to make a triangle. So you're just folding it down and then you can use your scissors, your ruler to draw a line if you need to, but you're just gonna cut off this strip here and that'll leave you with a square sheet of paper to make the sailboat. So uh, pre pretty easy to, to get that square sheet of paper for that particular one. Um, I also have uh, crayons and markers uh, to decorate the boats just to make it a little bit more fun and personalize it. But you can use colored pencils, paints, uh, whatever it is you want to do with your boat or you're welcome to leave it plain. So hopefully you'll have fun uh, making some of these boats at home. Okay. So the first boat that we're going to make is going to be the sailboat. And remember, at the beginning I told you the sailboat needs to have the square uh, sheet of paper. So once you've cut your square sheet of paper, we're ready to begin. The first step in making your sailboat is going to be uh, taking your, your top corner and folding it down to the bottom corner. So we're making a triangle, taking our square and turning it into a triangle. The next step is you're going to take either side of your triangle on the long side and we're going to fold it up to touch the top. So keeping our creases nice and sharp will help us out later on in this process. Yeah, a little bug crawling on me. All right. So once you've taken your big uh, square sheet of paper and made it into a smaller one from triangles, we're going to unfold those, that, uh, that next fold we just did. The next step is we're going to take uh, this piece right here and we're just going to fold it down so it touches the bottom and crease that nicely. And then we're going to take our two side pieces and put them back up. We're going to turn our paper over and we're going to fold down the other side of the bottom so it touches. Remember these are our, our two flaps. Now that we've done that, I'm going to turn it over again. I'm just going to fold up the bottom a little bit and make a little tiny triangle in the back. Just trying to get it to match where the uh, other side, the bottom of that top triangle is. So I'm just matching it right up here, right here on the back. But at that point, you have your origami sailboat and it's ready to, to sit on your, on your table and be decorated. You've got your two different sails and then the boat itself. It's got a little pocket in case you've got any stick figures you want to have sail on your sailboat. You can certainly do that too. But that's the steps to make an origami sailboat. All right, so we're going to make our second boat. And to do this, you just need a regular size uh, piece of paper, an eight and a half by 11. And our first fold is going to be um, to fold the long sides together. All right. 
So we've folded it along the, the long side. We're going to open it back up. And then we're going to fold the short sides together. All right. This is the open end, so I'm going to turn the uh, paper so that the open end is facing me. And we are going to bring our corners to the center line. So you've got the center line from you, that very first fold we did. We're bringing our corners down. So we've brought our corners down to our center line. Gonna make a really nice, strong crease along the edges. And now we are going to take our bottom section where we are going to fold it up. I'm gonna flip the paper over and I'm gonna fold the other side up as well. All right, now, once you have this lovely little hat shape, you're gonna need to pick it up, and we're going to pull the sides out so that our shape changes from being a hat into being a diamond. So I've taken my ends, I've just tucked them in on either side. We've got our diamond. I've got our, our edges are facing me, and I'm gonna take this side here and just fold the triangle up. Put a nice crease in there. I'm going to flip my paper over and do the same thing on the other side. Now that I've got uh, my triangle, I'm going to I'm going to pick this paper back up again. I've got my opening. So I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to fold it together. So it's laying here. I picked it up and I'm folding the sides in together. And once we've done that, this is the tricky part of this boat here. You've got to, to pull out, just gently pull apart these uh, pieces of paper. And you're just going to work with it to get your boat to create its shape. Just gotta get that paper to work with you just a little bit there. But after that, you will have your second origami boat to decorate. made it worse. All right. I think that is perfect. All right. So that is our second origami boat that we have. Okay. So our third boat that we're going to make, once again, just uses that regular size sheet of paper, that eight and a half by 11. This one's going to be the origami canoe. And the first step we're going to do is we're going to fold the paper in half long ways. And then we are going to fold up our two flaps that we have. Just matching the top edge. All right, so you've got your, your paper folded. I'm going to lay it back down and you're going to take uh, this edge here and you're going to fold up a triangle on one side and then the other. I'm 
We're going to turn our paper over and repeat that step. Alright, we've got our first triangles folded over. Now our next step is going to be to fold the triangle once again. So we're just going to take this edge and match it up to the top for that second triangle fold. Take your time making sure that your creases are nice and sharp for this. It can sometimes be tricky to get all the paper to lay uh, down correctly the first time. So you just need to be patient and work with the paper. And we're going to flip our boat over and do the exact same step on the other side. Alright, so we're getting those second set of triangles folded. Alright, so we've got our our two triangles done. Now we're going to take our, our bottom and we're going to fold it up to touch the top. This boat's got a lot of triangles folded into it. We're going to turn it over and repeat that step on the other side. Alright, so now that we've got all of our triangles folded this is going to be the most difficult step here. You just want to be patient with your paper and work with it. But we're going to take our, our boat like this and you are going to turn it inside out. So you got to be careful. I always tear a little bit on the end there. It's all right. My boat's still going to be sound watercraft. We're just going to slowly turn our boat inside out. And when you turn it over, you've got your canoe. Pretty cool. So that is our third uh, boat shape that we had making that canoe. So if you need to review any of those steps, just rewind, rewind the video. And I'm sure you guys are going to be making some awesome boats. Well, folks, we finished making our, our origami boats. Hopefully you're able to follow along with the step-by-step the -step instructions that I did. Um, you can always uh, do an internet search for more origami shapes and even more origami boats if you need a, a little bit more help with it. But I had a lot of fun making our, our three different types of boats with you. And I even uh, like to use uh, the canoe. It holds uh, markers and crayons very well during my program. So it's a helpful shape to, to have around and maybe you need it um, uh, whenever you're doing your craft projects as well. But I really do appreciate you all joining me and I hope you have a great day.